What on earth happened with the Jupiter price? The JUP token is down more than 60% in the last few months. Let's have a look why that happened and let's try to find out whether or not this can turn around. Because it doesn't look like adoption is the problem. The total value locked measured in Solana tokens continues to rise. Measured in US dollars, it's not that different. And yes, parts of that 60% decline are due to the Solana price going down because this year is Jupiter relative to SOL, but that still went down by 37%. So since April, all of crypto didn't do too well. Solana went down as well, but Jupiter went down more. Why is that? Now here's one explanation. There's an upcoming unlock happening for JUP. We currently have 1.3 billion JUP tokens, but one month from now, this could almost double. It's not the relative standing of Jupiter within the Solana ecosystem. Because have a look at the share of organic trading volume. Jupiter is in turquoise. And yes, this is not necessarily rising, but the drop was from 69% to 58%. It definitely doesn't warrant an underperformance of that magnitude. So yes, token unlocks for Jupiter are bad and expanding supply is bad. But I think the main driver for that underperformance is that Jupiter is a bet on attention. Not on price levels, but on attention. When attention on crypto is high, trading volume is high. When trading volume is high, Jupiter profits. Now have a look at this chart. This is the number of Jupiter swaps per week. And this peaked out at the beginning of June. And since that peak, we only see half of the number of swaps. I have a look at the trading volume. That didn't peak at the beginning of June, but at the middle of March. So have a look at the number of swaps relative to the trading volume. There was still a lot of swaps up until recently, but those are comparatively smaller swaps. Most of capital moved in March of this year. And when we look at the relative performance of Jupiter to Solana, it did peak two weeks after the trading volume peak, so at the beginning of April. And so because of that, the fees that are collected through Jupiter also tend to decline now. Again, the secondary trading volume peak had been generated by small money. If we actually exclude this, we can see that the big money trades peaked already in March. And all of those developments are also reflected in the number of JUP token holders over time. So initially there was the airdrop, right? This was the allocation to all kinds of holders. Then we've seen people selling their airdrop up until the beginning of March. And then once those sales stopped, Jupiter outperformed Solana by 100% mainly driven by small retail but also medium-sized retail and whales bought a bit and since then we don't see much growth in the number of holders by the way on the left side is the number of retail investors so a thousand tokens minimum holding at the current price at 712 dollars in the middle we go at 10x on that so that's seven thousand dollars on the right we look at the whales that's seventy thousand holders in the middle we've got a minimum holding of seven thousand dollars on the right we've got the whales that's a minimum holding of seventy thousand dollars so none of the cohorts are buying the price price initially declined is now somewhat flat in the last few weeks but it looks like the downwards trend is quite stable it doesn't look like jupiter can recover very quickly jupiter was riding the wave of solana and the issue is that the air for solana itself is getting thin so what we've got over here is the SOL dominance. So not the Solana price, but a measure of Solana's market cap as a fraction of all of crypto. And that's currently at 3.1%. It peaked out at 3.6%. And in the past, when we were at those kinds of levels, Solana was able to underperform the rest of crypto by more than 80%. So that's the potential risk we are taking on by buying SOL now. And again, I believe that Jupiter is a lever to bet on that trend. If Solana itself is going down, trading activity is probably going down as well. And then Jupiter will not only go down in US dollars, but also measured in SOL. You can see I'm not just advertising cryptocurrencies. I try to keep it as real, as objective as possible. If you appreciate this, feel free to give this a like and feel free to also subscribe i publish videos regularly on this channel in case you've got telegram then feel free to join us the link is down below looking very much forward to chatting with you